to the Alex Jones Show. This is Mike Adams, the Health Ranger, filling in for Alex today on this Friday, March 1st. Yes, we've entered March of 2013. That reminds me, let's see, um, Max Kaiser's got his prediction coming up in April of a, um, a major economic event. So I'm kind of curious to see if that's happening. We, we uh, tick one month closer to that today, being March 1st. So uh, we've got a lot of news today. We've got mind melds of rats, something straight out of science fiction. They're actually merging the minds of two rats in the laboratory and creating a, a I don't know, a dual mind machine. And obviously, you know, everything they do to rats, they're going to eventually do to you. <laughs> so they're going to have human experiments before long once they figure out uh, how this can serve the globalist agenda. We're going to be covering that, but let me tell you what's really coming up today. We've got a lot, of, a lot of big news. At the bottom of this hour, we have Joe Dixon joining us from Morningland Dairy. They were raided, I believe, at gunpoint. We're going to get to the bottom of those details in Missouri. That raid happened. The raid actually happened a while back, but there have been a lot of developments in that. Raw milk is back on the scene again because, see, when you get into the, the whole Second Amendment and the gun rights debate, you have to look at, well, what does government do when it has a monopoly on guns? And if you look at the actual history, recent history, you know, just the last couple of years, it turns out that when government has guns, it uses them to intimidate and raid raw milk farmers, you know, people selling milk. You know, James Stewart was raided at gunpoint. And, and uh, Joe Dixon here, his farm was raided and, and uh, temporarily shut down, and they've, they've gone after him and many others. So, so this is, a, this is a, a food freedom issue as well as a gun rights issue altogether. And so we're going to be covering that in more detail. We've also got coming up a little bit later today, Ashel Eldridge also known as Seasons. He is the rap artist who has created a, an amazing new uh, music video and song, kind of like a mini movie, actually, a mini drama called Food Fight that is all about inner city citizens being killed by processed food, being killed by the GMO, by the aspartame, by the processed sugars, and how they can actually take back their justice, their, their rights, their humanity by turning to nutrition and real foods. And it's a very powerful, inspiring message. And it's coming out of the, the inner city rap culture. And it's a powerful video that's already go, gone viral across the internet. So we, we're going to cover that here. We've got, <clears throat> excuse me, we've got the creator of that seasons right here on the show with us today to give us more details on that. This is also part of the resistance, the rising resistance of people who are waking up all across America, across all cultures, across all racial lines. And uh, this individual seasons, he, he is African American. And I think that's very important for us to acknowledge how it's every culture that is waking up against the machine. You see, the system wants us to fight among black and white, and Latino, they want us to fight with each other. That's why they engage in so much race baiting. They're trying to create a racial war. What we need to have, folks, is racial unity against the system of fascist corporate control. And this song creator, this artist, Seasons, is doing exactly that. And so that's why we're going to have him on today to talk about that. It's, it's, it's about the people versus the system, the system of corruption, the system of, of communist, fascist control. That's what it's really about, people versus oppression, not about black versus white. So anyway, that's coming up. Then we've got more news on how criminals do not have to comply with gun control laws, according to the Supreme Court. Alex Jones here with a message that could revolutionize health in this country. Going back about a year and a half ago, I began to learn about the incredible health effects of Longevity products. Aaron Dykes lost 92 pounds. We're going to show you some before and afters. Aaron, break down what happened, your story. I've worked really hard with diet and exercise to try to lose weight, but I just didn't get the results. It just didn't happen. Then I saw what you were doing with InfoWarsTeam.com. 
I wasn't even trying to lose weight, but I got it because I wanted to feel better energy. I wanted that nutrition. Didn't even understand how that could kickstart my own weight loss goals, but the products did that for me. I found myself suddenly losing weight, more energetic, wanting to exercise, wanting to eat the right foods. And they don't even advertise it as weight loss. I want to challenge our radio listeners to go to InfoWarsTeam.com, sign up as a distributor, and get wholesale pricing discounts at InfoWarsTeam.com. Friday here on the Alex Jones Show, March 1st, 2013. Thank you for joining us. And for the next three hours, we're going to be pounding your head with news that will blow your mind, including this one, mind melds of rats. Oh, by the way, um, well, before I get to that, so we've got a couple of guests coming up. And in the third hour, we're going to be airing an interview between Alex Jones and uh, what's what's the rap artist name, guys? I Im Immortal Technique. Yeah. Yeah, Mortal Technique. Um, I saw a, a bit of that, uh, of a previous interview that Alex did with him, but he's got, um, I don't know, a more more condensed version, more powerful version coming in the third hour today, so don't miss that. Uh, but anyway, we got a, a lot of breaking news today, including this. Mind melds of rats. This is published in the journal Scientific Reports. They've established direct brain-to-brain -brain communication between rats to have the rats solve problems together that they couldn't do alone. Yeah, right. It takes a village. Um, and now they're going to have brain-to-brain -brain communication between monkeys. That's already being studied. And before long, they're going to have it in humans. It's going to be like the Vulcan mind meld for the globalist agenda. <laughs> they're probably going to merge. Can you imagine if they merge the brain of, like, Henry Kissinger and Hillary Clinton? <laughs> what would that be like? <laughs> what kind of a, a horror would that create <laughs> it would be or how about how about the brain of diane feinstein and uh, who would be a good one to merge diane feinstein with diane feinstein and uh, <laughs> no um how about obama there you go but aren't they pretty much the same brain already it's all one big brain that they have they, they all have the same ideas they don't have unique thoughts at all. It's just one hive mind anyway, running the entire uh, Democratic Party, it seems anyway. So I don't know what they're going to accomplish by by uh, connecting their brains. But anyway, this is just another example of the crazy science that's going on. And they talk about it, how, oh, they're going to help severely paralyze people. But really, that's just, just a cover story, because what they're really going to do is use this technology like they've used every other technology to build an army of robots an army of armed robots and drones that have weapons that can then attack you. And right now, oh, by the way, that, that story is, uh, I'm sorry, the drone story is up on InfoWars.com right now by Steve Watson. So check that out at InfoWars.com. We, oh, this is, I'm sorry, this is a story from last year, but it's relevant. Uh, this, we are witnessing the beginning of the Industrial Revolution of War with artificial intelligence type of brains inside the drones that are now, of course, legally able to assassinate American citizens on U.S. soil. Thanks to that 16-page Department of Justice memo that was recently issued, and Obama has so far refused to say we will rule out any strikes on U.S. soil. So that's on the map. You got that? America is the battleground. The drones are already out there. The drones have weapons, obviously. They are striking Americans. Obama has his secret kill list where he can kill Americans. And now they're working on the brains of mice and monkeys. I bet you what we're going to actually see is we're going to have a flying monkey brain in the drone. It's going to be like something right out of Wizard of Oz, like flying gargoyle monkey creatures in the Pentagon drone program. And they get a, a cookie if they hit the target, like little kamikaze monkey brains. That's where this is all heading. I know it sounds crazy, but that's where it's heading. Because here's another story from 2012 that was also uh, written by Paul Joseph Watson. The new DARPA robot can autonomously track people. And do we have a video clip of that of that robot? That That is a the, the DARPA-legged squad support system. That's a scary-looking thing. 
that thing, it chases people through the forest. Yeah, for those of you watching on PrisonPlanet.tv, we're running that video. It's got this Boston Dynamics hydraulic four-legged creature marching through the woods, carrying a payload and tracking humans. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, of course, when Alex was here saying, let's say, five years ago that they're going to build an army of robots to come after you, they're going to have an army of drones in the skies uh, firing missiles at American citizens, he was called crazy. No, that, that can't be. There can't be drones coming after American citizens. There can't be robots. There are no Terminators. Well, once again, Alex is owed a, a massive uh, apology by the establishment because, again, he was ahead of his time in predicting that. You know, I, I noticed that if you're, if you're, let's say, a month ahead in your predictions, you're considered a genius. If you're five years ahead, you're considered a kook. So it's just because the population hasn't caught up yet. So there you go. Uh, DARPA enlist makers of the big dog robot, which we just showed there, to construct machines that can think for themselves. This is a story by Steve Watson, also from last year. Machines that can think for themselves. And, of course, it's being, it's being uh, pushed as a way to perform evacuation operations. Yeah, they never want to talk about how they're going to mount 50 caliber guns on these robots and go after American citizens and civilians living in U.S. cities after they declare martial law following the economic collapse. Wow. They were just showing a video there where you even you try to kick over the robot and it, it, it recovers and stands up. It stays standing. You can't even kick it over. That thing looks like a giant spider creature. They got it walking on water, slippery water, and it's recovering. That is scary, man. That is freaky. That is freaky. But speaking of uh, of 50 calibers, by the way, <laughs> oh, man, my head is still ringing today. Um, yesterday, Alex invited me to go out shooting with him and Shane Steiner, and we had three Barrett 50 caliber BMGs and two 338 Lapua rifles all lined up and we decided to shoot this piece of I-beam that I have here in the studio. I don't know if you can give a shot of this I-beam over here. This thing got mangled because somebody brought some armor-piercing ammo with some white, I guess it was some kind of phosphorus coating or something. Can you show this? Can you show this I-beam? Yeah, look at this. So this is a, um, man, that's at least a, that's at least a three-eighths inch thick piece of metal, probably, probably a lot more. Um, yeah, it looks like about three eighths and it's a, it's a big I beam and, uh, well here, bang on here, hear that? That's the metal we're talking about. That's what we were shooting at yesterday. And, uh, it's still ringing either that or my head is still ringing. I can't uh, tell my head was ringing when I woke up this morning. That's for sure. It's got holes, just massive holes blown through it. Pieces of metal torn out of it. We must have hit this thing at least 50 times. I, I'm telling you, we, I think we shot a couple thousand dollars worth of uh, 50 cal ammo yesterday. And the reason my head is ringing is because we lined up, all three of us, there on the ground about, I don't know, 400, 450 yards away from the target. And I was stupid enough to be the guy in the middle. <laughs> That's not a... Of, of all the positions to be in when you're firing 350 cals, it, being in the middle is the worst position of all. It's sort of like being attacked by concussion grenades on all sides. And um, so I would get blasted by Shane's rifle. Boom, and then I get blasted by Alex's rifle. And Alex, of course, was engaged in rapid fire. Boom, boom, boom. And then I would fire off a shot of my own. And then and all the grass and dust would blow up in my face before I could recover. Alex was blasting off a, another couple of rounds. And I was sucking in all this grass. <laughs> off the ground they were elevated alex and shane were in elevated trucks firing and i was on the ground because i'd brought a i brought a shooting mat so i was on the ground and i must have inhaled <laughs> so much grass just ranch grass and dust this is why you might even hear it in my voice today it's a little little rough and then and then jacobson was spotting <laughs> and we just we blasted the crap out of this i-beam and uh so i guess i guess a 
it looked like a military helicopter took some interest in this and was sort of flying, flying, uh, checking us out. What's going on? And they may have seen some of the tracer rounds, too. Uh, it was quite a show. And anyway, we got it all on video. And uh, Jacobson is going to be editing that over the next few weeks. So you'll get you'll get to see that. That is 350 cows and a couple of uh, 338 Lapuas blasting away here in Central Texas. And, you know, I got to say, the more the system talks about gun control, the bigger guns we want, the more guns we buy, the more ammo we buy, and the more we shoot. If, if people like Obama and Feinstein and Biden really wanted us to stop buying guns, they should stop talking about gun control. It's real simple. Every time you talk about gun control, I get a little itchy trigger finger, and I want to go out and shoot somebody's 50 cal Barrett. And it's the same with everybody, all the patriots, everybody who loves firearms and, and, and loves sports shooting, they feel the same way. They want to go out, get on, get on the trigger, get some trigger time, throw some lead down range, and blast away some I-beam like we did here. It was pretty wild. So, hey, as long as they keep talking about gun control, we're going to keep upsizing our weapons and our ammo and putting it on film for you. So stay with us. We'll be right back here on The Alex Jones Show. As I was explaining before the break, my head is still ringing from going shooting with Alex yesterday with uh, 350 cal uh, BMG rifles, all Barretts. Um, two of them were the M107A1 rifles, the brand new. I think there must be more 50 cals in Texas than, than anywhere, anywhere in the country. And uh, Texans sure know how to use them. But anyway, um, speaking of knowing how to use firearms, oh, and by the way, we have, we have a, a really exciting guest coming up. In the next few minutes, uh, Joe Dixon from Morningland Dairy about the continued scourge of oppression of food freedom in America. So that's coming up shortly. But remember when Joe Biden was asked by that that reporter, that journalist, uh, uh, about should should women um, use guns to defend themselves, and and Joe Biden said, "Get a shotgun! Get a shotgun!" You don't need an AR-15, get a shotgun. Well, it turns out that uh, shotguns kick a whole lot worse than an AR-15. And uh, there's a lot of, let's say, smaller frame women who have trouble with uh, shooting 12-gauge slugs or steel shot or, or what have you. The point is, Joe Biden, uh, you need to learn the laws of physics. In fact, uh, Newtonian laws of motion. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction if you're going to push a lot of lead out the front of a shotgun, it's going to kick. And it turns out that a shotgun kicks way more than an AR-15. Uh, even a 95-pound a light-framed woman can handle an AR-15 much easier than shooting a 12-gauge shotgun with most loads. So, hey, I'm sorry to break it to you, but that's reality, you know? That's physics. I, I, I love how these people in Washington like to just make up their own laws of physics or laws of economics. You know, like if we raise taxes, we're going to get more tax revenue. No, you're not, because everybody's going to go out of business. Businesses are going to stop hiring. Or how about this one? If we take more money from people's paychecks, that's good for the economy. No, it isn't. Guess what? On the top of drudgereport.com right now, the income, the take home income in America has dropped the most since 1959. That means the discretionary income that people have to buy things at places like Walmart continues to plummet, which is why Walmart is having a disastrous month here. Well, February was a disastrous month, and March will probably be again in 2013. And it's going to get even worse for Walmart and the economy as the government takes more taxes. Visit InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. When you're on the site, you can also tune in 24 hours a day to my daily radio broadcast. There's also a free iPhone app to listen to the syndicated radio show when and where you want. Mm -hmm. 